almost everywhere you go in Taiwan, you're not too far from a forest. But did you know that those forests were once at risk? Strict laws implemented nearly three decades ago sought to protect the trees. Logging was banned, and today only about 10 percent of Taiwan's trees can be harvested. But experts say the situation is detrimental to the domestic timber trade as well as the global environment. They say importing wood comes with a large carbon footprint and leaves high-quality Taiwanese wood unused. Let's hear from the experts who hope to build a thriving yet sustainable domestic timber industry. Our Sunday special report. Located in Nanto County, Shreili Township, this is the wood processing plant operated through the NTU Experimental Forest Project. The fragrance of fresh cut wood fills the air, bathing visitors in the aromas of the forest. All this wood here is from Chinese fir trees. Right now at the plantation, the NTU Experimental Forest team is mainly planting three types of trees, suji, Chinese fir, and Taiwania. Trees of different varieties are piled up in the factory yard, a mixture of trunks of different lengths and diameters. The majority of the trunks here are over half a century old. Those of larger diameters are all 50 or 60 years old. The suji trees are roughly 40 to 50 years old, with the oldest being around 70. Producing valuable lumber takes decades, and only through regular felling and replanting trees can the forest thrive. The question is how to achieve a good balance between harvesting and planting. To protect the health of Taiwan's forests, the government issued a ban on harvesting timber in 1991. Under the decree, strict protections were placed on 90% of Taiwan's forest land. The remaining 10 percent became plantations, where harvesting was moderated. However, after more than two decades of strict regulations, Taiwan's forestry has lost its competitiveness. In the beginning, there was the ban on harvesting trees in the natural forests, and then the government failed to implement proper management of the plantations. In terms of production in the wood processing industry, there wasn't much going on. Basically, industry production has stopped for a long time. When you stop for such a long time, this creates a situation where there is an insufficient supply of Taiwan-grown timber. Combine this with the fact that imported wood is cheaper and more plentiful, and basically everyone will tend to use imported wood. Roughly 99% of timber used in Taiwan is imported, and only 1% is grown in Taiwan. However, meticulously protecting one's own forests while chopping down those in other countries also comes with its own problems. A portion of imported timber may come from illegal logging in primary forests. If you protect your own forests while others cut down their primary forests, then you will be pressured in the international community for immoral behavior. Also, when you import wood, the carbon footprint is greater. Therefore, we are doing everything we can to make our timber industry self-reliant. In a bid to respect forests in other parts of the world, while also ensuring that Taiwan can maintain its own capacity for producing timber, the Forestry Bureau began promoting domestic timber harvesting in 2017. Starting with the plantations, it hopes to grow the domestic timber industry one tree at a time. After saplings are planted, the daily work of tending to the growing trees continues. Over the decades it takes the tree to grow, its branches must be regularly trimmed, and the vines that constantly threaten to strangle it must be removed. Only then will it produce valuable timber.
if a plantation grows too well and its trees become too dense, this will impact the growth of all the plantation's trees. At that point, thinning becomes necessary. This is also an important source of Taiwan-grown timber. Our current practice is to use thinning, or clear felling, in a small area. We cut the trees down for use and then replant them. The forest has to be managed, and once that's done, we can use the wood and replant the trees. This type of sustainable practice allows us to make use of the whole forest and maintain carbon sequestration. The forest needs a healthy cycle, and reasonable felling contributes to that by giving trees more space to grow. However, despite efforts toward a sustainable forestry, the self-sufficiency of Taiwan's timber industry remains low. Our current rate of self-sufficiency is around 1.12 percent. Our aim over the coming decade is to reach 5 percent. If we go by the current level of domestic consumption, to reach 5 percent self-sufficiency, we would need to produce 200,000 cubic meters of timber annually. However, in light of the recently introduced policy of zero carbon emissions, we have revised that goal. By 2050, we would need to reach a 10% rate of self-sufficiency in timber production. Since 1969, researchers from the National Taiwan University have been managing an experimental forest. With access to over 10,000 hectares of forest land, as well as a wood processing plant, the researchers manage all aspects of the production process for the timber they produce. They hope their efforts show a way forward for Taiwan timber. We are allowed to cut down 5,400 cubic meters of trees for timber annually. We currently cut down roughly 3,000 to 3,600 cubic meters per year, so about 70% of our allowed volume, which is pretty high. Since we have a wood processing plant, the trees that we log get sent to our plant for use. In order to maximize use of Taiwan timber, the first step is to turn it into usable material by cutting large logs into wood of sizes that meet specifications. After it's cut into standard sizes, it needs to be stabilized to ensure its dimensions don't change. This is done by lowering its water content to below its fiber saturation point. Technicians stack the wood high, bind it tightly, and then send it into the kiln to dry with monitoring sensors attached. When we're drying the wood, we consult the benchmark table. This lets us know things like how long to apply heat, what the moisture level is at, and whether we need to spray mist over the wood. The duration of the process depends on the type of wood and its thickness and takes roughly between four and seven days. In some cases, it could take up to 10 days. There are many considerations in timber production, and if the wood is to be used for construction, its hardness is a particularly important consideration. Blue, red, green, and black represent four different elastic moduli in timber. Different use cases call for different levels of hardness. Typically, when wood processing plants apply for CAS product quality certification, it's only based on the visual appearance of the wood. We have also added a wood hardness component to our quality assurance. If the wood is to be used in a construction project, then you absolutely can't just consider its appearance. Materials used in construction or other structural applications must have a certain hardness. To put it simply, you need to know its elastic modulus. Harder sugai is often used as the building material for structural applications. Meanwhile, the fragrant and colorful Taiwania, as well as the lightly scented Chinese fir, are favorites for indoor renovations. Each wood type has different characteristics, and thus its applications are also different. What is also indispensable for timber is its freshness and aromas that create a sense of closeness with nature. 
in Shito Bamboo Forest in Nanto's Lugu Township is the 36 meter long Yinxing Bridge. The longest wooden bridge of its type in Taiwan, it's made entirely of Taiwan grown timber. This is our Taida Tomu Shi, the Sister Ishi Hozo, Li Jin, Liang Nina Kui Hua, Iji Yin Yin, the Sigong. This was a joint project with students and professors from NTU's Department of Civil Engineering. It involved two years of planning and one year of construction and was completed in April 2017. That was also the year we began pushing for Taiwan timber. We used sugi harvested when we were thinning the plantation. This bridge was built entirely out of wood. Used in everything from household interiors and regular chairs to simple children's toys, Taiwan grown timber is quickly finding its way into the everyday lives of people in Taiwan. This is our forest theme checker set. It was jointly developed by the Forestry Bureau and the NTU Experimental Forest Project. It shows off the patterns and colors of different types of wood. We use this as a way to showcase the unique characteristics of each type of domestically produced timber, such as their texture. While enjoying a game, you can learn about each type of timber. By fostering an appreciation for domestically grown wood, these forest experts hope Taiwan's timber industry can grow to new heights.